What does anything mean? Basically. Well, this is certainly an album by the Chameleons. Um, their second album, which doesn't seem to get a whole lot of love, like Script of the Bridge is like, oh, Script of the Bridge. And then Strange Times is like, it has Swamp Thing on it and a couple other ones that people really like. And this one is like, it exists and it's also just as good as the other ones, but I never hear people talking about like this track or this track, which makes sense because there aren't any on here that like poke through as much as like a second skin or a swamp thing would. Um, but man, this is a damn consistent album and it's uh, pretty fantastic. So let's go track by track on this thing. I have it at 3.5. Honestly, when it comes to the first three Chameleons albums, Anywhere between like a 3.5 and a 4.5 on any given day about d depending it, it's like they're all very close to a four for me and it's really hard to be like which one do I like more because they all have different strengths weaknesses um, setups constructions all that kind of thing so Silent Sea and Sky uh, I love these syrupy synth tracks from the chameleons uh, simple but great opener. Uh, it's like the closing track on their final album, Why Call It Anything. It's like, I just, I love that, like, schmaltzy, you know, after-school special, don't-do-drugs kind of ending track. <laughs> I just have a soft spot for that. I'm nostalgic, what can I say? Perfume Garden. This one grew on me a bit. I love the swirly guitars and the urgency in the riff. It's like quintessential Chameleons type of track here. Intrigue and Tangier. I really like the contrast between the sparse acoustic picking uh, with that typical incendiary chameleon's riff. Um, not a complete favorite, but it's a really solid track. Really good. Return of the Roughnecks is one of a handful of chameleon's tracks where the riff is a bit too repetitive to the point of like annoyance. Um, nothing terrible, just bland. Uh, Singing Rule Britannia has some cool soundscapes going on in the back, but it's like the last track is just a bit flat. Um, I do think this track is better than the last, though. On the Beach, like Perfume Garden, um, this is just another great poster child track for the band. Swirly guitar, breathy synth, cryptic lyrics, it's all here. Um, I think I even said that, like, in the reactions. Like, that's that's chameleons. Uh, looking inwardly, probably the best example of, like, a repetitive riff that just drives me a bit nuts. Um... And like, I really can't stand this track solely because of that monotonous riff. There's a couple other elements to it that are decent, but like, just the, it's like, am I listening to uh, The Seer by Swans, you know? Uh, One Flesh, I love that like anthemic U2 big music sound here. Great flow as well with nice, like pull away partway through into like a completely different track. Uh, more quintessential chameleon stuff here. Great. Home is where the heart is. It's like this really cool neo-psych thing. I like what's going on here. It's not really a favorite on the album, but it's like a very mysterious and compelling track that is hard to ignore. And then, ooh, P.S. Goodbye. I adore this track. By far my favorite on here. Top five chameleons tracks for me. Um, and then they just know how to end their albums. I love the guitar interplay, and then that synth swell at the end is just perfection. Um, really dig that one. So that is what does anything mean, basically. Like I said, no real tracks except for maybe Perfume Garden. Um, possibly Intrigue and Tangier that, like, cuts through, and it, people are like, oh, yeah, that's the great track from the album. But, like, it's pretty solid. Um, it's really just... Like, Return of the Roughnecks and Singing Rule Britannia, a little flat, and then Looking Inwardly, I think, is the only, like, bad track on here. Um, but there's tons of quality. There's tons of quality. It just kind of seems, like, meager, I guess. It seems like a meek. Like, it's just, like, not trying to be anything as lofty as, like, what is before and after it. And I think that's part of why it kind of falls through the cracks, but, like, there's still just as much quality here. Um... It's probably the worst. Is it the worst? It's probably the worst Chameleon's album. Not counting the fourth one. Um, but still, that's like not a fair thing to say because that makes it sound like it's bad when it's absolutely not there. It's very close to the other two, in my opinion. So that is What Does Anything Mean? Basically, a fantastic album by the Chameleons. Thank you for watching my follow-up. And uh, until next time, Godspeed. Mm -hmm.